Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to show how I block uh, over-the-air updates for iOS. Uh, this should work for iPad OS as well. Uh, I think Watch OS is tied to your uh, iPhone, so if you don't update that, they eventually stop doing the Watch OS. And TV OS, I always update that because I don't really see that ever really getting weird on me, and I don't use my uh, Apple TV that much. And I'm not sure, there may be other ways, obviously if you're jailbroken, I'm sure it's very easy, but I, I really don't do that these days, there's really no need to, at least for me. And I, the reason why I would like to block um, updates is, every now and then, I mean this is a 11 Pro Max, so it's a couple years old now, to me sometimes they slow down, I'm not, there was that lawsuit where they say that they intentionally slowed them down, but I'm not even, just the older they get, Sometimes when they put those newer features, I mean, it still runs fine, but a lot of times I remember phones are more powerful now too, but those older ones, sometimes they just dr drug too much or they'd have RAM or um, you know, RAM memory leak issues, it seemed like to me, and then you'd have to wait. So I like to stay like usually an iOS behind, but I'm, I'll leave that there. I mean, everyone probably has their own reasons. So see here, I'm connected to the internet and I'm on 14.3. And I have a newer phone, I 13 I just bought, and that one, this is brand new, so it should have like no slowdown, it's designed to run this. But sometimes, again, you'll get that newer one and it'll have bugs, and a lot of times you can wait, but then when they start trying to download it and bothering you, that's why I like to be able to block them. And I will say, lastly, sometimes this won't work. You'll go to download the profile, and it just won't apply. So I'm not sure if they have to update the tvOS profile, but I'll get into that in a second. So you can see at least here right now that I have this uh, TV15 beta profile, and you have to have this. It makes your iPhone to the, I guess, Apple's update server view as a TV, an Apple TV, and then it, it must confuse it, and it sees that there's no update because they don't have a TV update for the phone. I don't know how it works. I've done it before, but it works. And another thing I've heard people say, is you can see here that these certificates expire. Uh, that one so far away doesn't matter. But the 2023, I think maybe on my 8 Plus back in the day, I almost think it expired and it quit working, but I could be wrong. But I know that this happened before recently, and it expired, and it did work just fine, and I've read other people say that it does. But you need the tvOS beta profile, and I think it just goes by the current one. Since I'm a few, uh, quite a while back, mine still should work, but maybe like a newer iOS, like maybe 15, might block this. But I've been doing this on older ones, and it seems like they allow it. So either they knowingly let people that know how to do this do it, because I don't think they don't know about it. But um, There's probably other websites you can use, but I don't want to officially say one in case it gets taken down. But what I do, and this can be used for other purposes too. Um, if you want beta updates, if you want to manually do your updates... Okay, so you just, it'll be at the bottom. And I think it might say about, like, using Safari, but I've used uh, Chrome, like, right now, and I've never had a problem with it. So it's the uh, block OTA update, and you go to install. They're not a fan of intrusive ads. But uh, I'm not sure since I had a lot of pop-ups if this comes up, but when it does, uh, you go to continue. And then you'll allow it. And then you're pretty much good to go. So you can close out of this. And then it should show up in your settings. And then you're going to go up here to install. And again, it's those same old certificates, but that's still a while. And I don't think it'll matter. And then you agree. Don't read it. And then you have to restart, and it should be the way it was then prior to that. All right, so now that uh, booted back up, let's see, everything should be. So it's showing it again. And let's go to a software and see what it does. 
should be back to not seeing that update. That was a little different, but either way, it's still acceptable, okay? So it worked. So that, I mean, that message didn't really matter. And then you also notice, depending on like where most of your apps are at, like where you have enough space, uh, this feedback shows up. And this is, uh, I guess, as part of the beta, they want you to report things. But obviously for this case, you don't. And I don't think you can actually delete this off the phone as long as you have the profile installed. But at least with uh, iPhone, you can remove it from the home screen, but it's still in your app library. Now, I think on iPad, I could be wrong, but I don't think iPad offers that. But uh, you can see now it's blocked again, works just fine. I'm pretty happy with it. And just again, so you can see, this is my iPad Pro. And same thing, the tvOS beta profile. So you'll go to website, that same link for the block OTA. And it'll be the same thing, as you see. Now, I don't use my iPad as much, and I really don't think that it matters. I mean, I probably could run latest software and not have any issues, but I just kind of did that. I'll probably upgrade 15. Seems pretty stable. I haven't really seen any problems. And it seems to be working fine on my uh, 13. So I'm thinking I'll probably just get rid of that eventually and update this. But it's nice enough to worry about updates popping up. Uh, but that worked out. Uh, let me know if you have any issues. Um, there might be more other ways to do it or something you could look at online. But for me, this is pretty simple. I think it's pretty secure. I don't think there's anything malicious or uh, anything. This is just an authentic Apple signed profile. And it's just kind of a workaround that seems to be pretty clean, pretty easy way to do it. And uh, I think I'll leave it there. Let me know if there's anything else or any other ways you know of. But uh, it works for me and I'm pretty happy with it. So thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.